hello guys uh, so this is my prashad mishra here uh, i am an associate data scientist at uh, septis software Lim private limited so today uh, we are going to uh, explore about how to you know we can in integrate a flow with a uh, with the einstein bot uh, to um, uh, and see how it changes uh, it, uh, how we can make changes in the data uh, or an object uh, uh, you know uh, we are going to explore that in the previous video we saw how to uh, build up a Einstein bot, how to set up uh, various prerequisites uh, needed for the Einstein bot, how to set up an omni-channel, how, you know, how to enable the omni-channel and uh, how to build a digital experience site and uh, many more things we learned about. Uh, we saw how, what are variables, entities, how we can add messages, how we can add questions in the, uh, and how we can uh, you know, add also dialogues. Uh, and how we can add dialogues into making it more interactive, uh, how we can add choices and many more things we learned about. So uh, in this video, uh, we are going to add a, uh, we are going to build up a simple flow and then uh, use that flow in the ancient bot uh, to, and, uh, to make some changes, of course. And we are going to see how, if the change occurs or not. Anyways, uh, so let's get started with the flow. Okay, so yeah, so here uh, we can uh, in the quick find just uh, go for flows. I have already like uh, open this uh, window here already. So you can see flows comes here and then uh, we are gonna build up a new flow here. Uh, I have written a few steps here, you know, you can see a few steps. And uh, let's see. So, uh, uh, yeah, another thing, another point is here. Uh, in the Einstein bot, uh, we can only select auto launched flow. Uh, uh, other flows don't uh, come for the selection while you know while we select flow. But yeah, we, we, I'm going to show uh, what's that about. Uh, don't choose screen flow because it's, it, it doesn't come uh, like uh, when you choose the flow. Okay, let's go for auto launch flow, no trigger, uh, free form obviously. Okay. okay, so the next thing is we choose uh, the update records. Uh, we have already start of update records. Okay, we are just now trying it here. Uh, let's give it account number. Okay, name, description, specify, obviously. So, we are going to choose object subscriber here. Okay, we choose, choose an object here. So, let's say account number equals... Uh, okay, we are going to give a new resource here. Okay, we are going to create a new resource here. Okay, let me show. So we are gonna create a new resource here, give a name, create a new variable, you know, so, and all everything. So I think it's uh, gonna be variable, yeah, obviously. Uh, so API name, let's give it uh, subs subscription number. Let's give that and. Uh, and then text, yeah, obviously. Our label input text means you know it will uh, input, uh, take the input as a string. Anyway, so uh, let's text, then uh, and this will be the input. Okay, I think. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. Okay, now, next, uh, if uh, this is the thing we are gonna choose, you know. Where do we want to make a change? Like, let's say we have the object orders, you know, like uh, if the person chooses to cancel an order, we uh, we are here uh, choosing to cancel the subscription. If our customer wants to uh, cancel a subscription, uh, she just can go to the bot, type some uh, details and, you know, she can cancel the subscription. So if uh, we want to, you know, change the change our field, uh, like, uh, uh, like, let's say order is uh, yes, and we want to make it know something like that okay so if someone uh, want, wants to change the order status here yeah, that's the word uh, if you want to change the order status 
or we want to change uh, any kind of statuses like if we want to cancel it then what should be changed to that we are going to give it here in this field so and there are not much fields here so i am just going to choose churn field it's quite easy like there are only two pick, pick list values yes or no uh, so once uh, we you know uh, subscription is cancelled once you get them uh, and get uh, like uh, once the customer cho chooses to cancel the subscription the churn will ch uh, change to yes okay so the value will change to yes um yeah i think we're done we can also add fields if you want like uh, if you want to make changes in the in multiple fields in churn or uh, in other, other fields and uh, as well so we can do that also simultaneously i think we are done here yeah, let's go forward yeah i think we're done and uh, the next you can see uh, response message we are gonna give an assignment here okay uh, assignment uh, yeah it's gonna be the response message okay api name and select variable uh, we are gonna give uh, a new variable you can see uh, available for output give a response message in value and all okay uh, variable api name uh, we are gonna give let's see response message Okay, give an opinion, data type. Yeah, obviously it's text available for output, obviously. And I think we're done here. Okay. Value. Okay. Variable and uh, okay. Uh, one second. Uh, no, one second. One second. Account uh, number. Uh, we think. Uh, yeah. Mm, okay. So I think. Uh, yeah. We just uh, need to give like. Your uh, your subscription has been cancelled, just like that. Uh, been cancelled. Uh, that's all we need to give uh, the value. Okay, let's check if it works or not. Okay, so uh, done. Now we need to connect it to here and sorry. This needs to be connected here. Okay, we have connected the flow. Now we need to save it. Cancel subscription. Save it. Okay. Uh, okay. Then. Okay, we can. Uh, yeah, we can change the type here also, but we don't need to change it here. Okay, so let's save it. Let's check it once again. So you can see cancel subscription septis has already been here. So let's activate the flow, obviously. Uh, if you want to run it, uh, well, it's not a screen flow, but uh, yeah. If you want to run it, something comes like this. I will just show you if flow is finished. Because it's an autonomous flow. Uh, but anyways, so we are going to uh, integrate this into the ancient bot and see the changes. Okay. Okay. Let me just uh, open the sales app. Yeah, because we'll need it a bit. And go for subscribers. Yeah, let's go for subscribers. This is the subscriber. Uh, well, uh, you can see subscriber. This is the churn. You can see clearly here, the churn and the account number here. Okay. Uh, so this is the ancient bot builder here. Subscription cancel. Let's choose action. 
then flow select action okay let me see which one is no they're not this one okay. i think we have to refresh it a bit it's not coming here now uh, okay one second it should come i think uh, we have activated it obviously let me check once again make sure it's activated and uh, it uh, yeah it's activated it should come now make sure it's uh, it comes under the flow you know okay you can see uh, yeah okay we are okay you can see cancel subscription set is okay anyways okay you can see here uh, the various types of flow introvert 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 and various types of flow here cancel uh, yeah so let me just show so all the only the auto launch uh, flow here are uh, getting shown here you can see only the auto launched flow there are a few screen flows like new contact, reset password, verify identity and uh, many more but these are not getting shown here. So make sure you select uh, you know uh, the uh, well you know make sure you select the auto launch flow and uh, build a flow based on uh, based on that. Uh, so subscription number, variable name, okay. Uh, we are gonna go for a new text variable uh, so subscription number okay uh, yeah we are gonna check the subscription number so we are gonna give a variable here uh, let's see account sub number check let's go. simple simple name api name text yeah give that then another variable name as you know transaction message obviously uh, message just let's give it simple message okay. and then let's go for one second let's go for message so response message and uh, we give the variable name you know just the message okay. I give it and then let's save it so basically uh, wait for the customer input uh, so you, you can see uh, after uh, we choose subscription cancel what should happen is uh, it will ask for the order number okay i think we forgot to uh, uh, add a question okay we are gonna add a question here uh, what, uh, what is the order number here uh, one second i think we have to do that yeah we are gonna add a question here okay what's the order number what's the order number Okay, yeah, we are going to select an entity. Yeah, we are going to create a new entity here based on the order number. You want to make sure you know we have the correct type of order number. Yeah, yeah I want to show that. You can see here the what is the pattern of the order number. Uh, it's like uh, four uh, numerical values and uh, five uh, you know categorical values. You can see five alphabets and four numbers. Okay. So we are gonna uh, configure the ident uh, entity on the on the basis of that. So let's give like name, uh, account number, input. Okay, API. The register pattern I can show like zero to nine. The four four is like the like four numbers. A to Z, A to Z, five. Okay, and uh, this is the starting and the dollar sign is the end. Okay, you can see. I will return it. So uh, let me just copy the register pattern here. Okay. I don't think we need any more. Okay. Now select a variable sub number check. Let's select it. 
Oh, I think we are not done. We just need to drag this on top of this. Okay. That should be the first question. What is the order number? I think uh, we are done here. Let's go. Let's try. Okay. Let's try now experience builder and see if it's working or not or uh, we, do we need to make any changes. Okay. So let's go for available. First of all, the agent is available. Then uh, refresh it a bit. Uh, let's refresh it a bit. Let's see. Okay, let me activate it first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now you can see we have a chat with an expert here. Okay. Uh, decisions. Okay. Now let's go for preview. Let's go for test. Start chatting. Okay, what we have to choose subscription cancel. Okay, what is the order number? Okay, uh, let's copy this order number you know, to check if it changes to yes. That's what we want to check if the flow works or not with the bot. What is the order number? We give the order number. Now the response message, the flow work, and the, you can see the response message. Your subscription has been cancelled. Your subscription has been cancelled, as you remember. That was the message in the flow. Okay. Now it's quite simple. Now let's say if this churn changes to yes. Okay. Now let's just and you can see here. This is uh, the my order number account number here uh, 1074 AMI OH and the churn has changed to uh, yes which was uh, previously no. So basically now you can see this is how we can uh, build uh, build a ancient bot and integrate a flow in the ancient bot and uh, you know we can uh, change uh, a value what uh, we want to do or we can add more types of flows uh, depending on that also in there in taking uh, in taking uh, various types of uh, variables and uh, various types of uh, and giving output as a message so yeah i think uh, that's it uh, for this video uh, and this, this is how we can integrate of this is how we can integrate a flow and uh, give a response message uh, when uh, we have a use case of cancelling a subscription or cancel an order or uh, we want to place an order also that also we can do we can uh, change the response message uh, so there are various use cases which we can use a flow and it's very handy you know mm. uh, in auto loan flow you, ju you just uh, write the order number and if we build up a very good flow and uh, it gives uh, it uh, solves a lot of problem and so it uh, reduces a lot of time uh, so we can uh, write uh, write more uh, uh, like uh, more complex flows uh, but it was a simple flow anyways uh, uh, i think that's it uh, for this video that's it from my side and uh, yeah so we are gonna see again with a new topic uh, and uh, and some new ideas so yeah thank you uh, thank you and uh, subscribe to this channel uh, make sure to share and like and uh, give a comment below uh, yeah thank you bye